This one actually is a little bit more convenient than you might think. Here's why. is because on the right side of that equal sign, both terms have common denominators. So, if we wanted to rewrite this, if it's helpful anyways, we would have x plus 2 plus x minus 1 all over the same denominator, 3x plus 12. And this is 1 over, well, I'm going to go ahead and factor that x squared plus 8x plus 16. So, which size, like. so 16, uh, two factors that would add up to 8 would be 4 and 4. That means I've got x plus 4 and x plus 4 factored out. Again, if you wanted to write that as x plus 4 squared, that's fine. I like to see them separated so I know exactly what needs to go into other denominators. So at this point, if I combine like terms on the right side, it's not going to affect what I have on the left. So this equals uh, x plus x is going to give us 2x. And negative 2 minus 1 is a negative 3. And this is over. Hopefully we've seen that, uh, that 3x plus 12. We have both those terms which are divisible by 3. So I can factor out a 3 from both of those which gives me... 3 times x plus 4. Well, that's great because when I find common denominators on this, uh, on the right, I just need another x plus 4. So I'm going to have to multiply 2x minus 3 times x plus 4 as well. But not only that, on the right side, I need a 3 as well. So I'm going to have to multiply the 1 by 3 which is going to change this expression just a little bit. I've got 3 equals 2x minus 3 times x plus 4. All right, now we need to multiply these. So 2x times x is 2x squared. And 2x times 4 is plus 8x. And then negative 3 times x is a negative 3x. Negative 3 times 4 is negative 12. All of this equals 3. And if we combine like terms and also subtract 3 from both sides, then we get 0 equals 2x squared plus 5x minus 15. So on this one, I've got negative 15. Well, actually in this one, I'd have to multiply it by the 2 as well. Negative 15 times 2 is negative 30. That's a 0, by the way. Um, I need two factors of negative 30 that would add to 5. So 1 and 30, that's not going to work no matter which is negative. I got 2 and 15. Eh, still no good. What about 3 and 10? It's close, but no cigar, right? What about uh, 5 and 6? No. All right, so we went through all the factors. I mean, again, it doesn't matter which of these you make negative. It's still not going to give you a positive 5 in the middle there. Uh, if it could, then we would factor this by grouping and see what we come out with. However, since this one can't be factored, that just means there's no real solutions. We're not to write real, just no solutions.